Welcome everyone here to Retro TV, what's in my shed and the unearthing of the Mazda MX-5 Unus Mazda Roadster. Now I've done a little bit more on this, so I thought I'd just give you a bit more of a film. We're going to take the hard top off this car and take a better look at what's inside. Now put a blanket on the back of the car here, so to stop any more scratching of the paint, even though the paint is already scratched. But I don't want to do any more damage to it, so I'm going to slide the top off and put it there and have a look inside the car. So, here we go. Right, first off, just done. Done all the hinges. How I used to do this with a one person job before is I used to take one corner and just drop it there. Come on in. Grab the other one. And like that. So we go back a little bit further there. There we go. And <coughs> my gourd. And there we go. One hard top off, so we're going to have a, a good look inside here now, apart from the spider webs and everything. We we'll go from there. So. There are some stupid things in there. <laughs> so. Right, one hard top off the Mazda Unis Roadster. Yeah, just be careful not to break my ankle trying to get in here. Got lots of crap in there. Right, let's get some light in here, shall we? Okay everyone, now I've set up my trusty magnetic roof light, which I use for a lot of movie shoots, and it sticks about anywhere. Good little idea this, and it's pretty cheap too. Right, so now, here's a good more view of what's inside the Mazda MX-5, without its hard top on. See the glass is good, there's nothing really on the windscreen, which is great, which I'm impressed with. What we got here in the back, a tonneau cover. We have a mirror on that side. I think there's a pair of glasses. Ooh. And the door trims over there with the bullets on the side. Oh, so let's have a seat. Well, it's been a while. Looks like we found another one of them and another one of them. I think we need some more light in here, I think. That's better. Alright. Fantastic dashboard. Nice little badging on the front there. I do like the, the combination of the colours here. Some blue lights on the side. Of course, all that was put in afterwards. Ooh, Mackie D's back at. Nothing in there though, but lots of spiders. Lots of spiders, lots of automatics. Automatic bits here. How loose is this? Yeah, it's rather loose. What, what you can expect things that are worn out with this one. But all this here is all blue lit as well inside. This was a special addition to this car. But uh, you could not find it anywhere except for the Japan. With a lot of wires and bits going on down there. Which we'll all need sorting one day. 
Now I know this box here So anyway folks That's the end Of this little video I hope you enjoyed it And stay tuned for more Because this car will be coming out from underneath here And uh, we'll be putting it back on the road one day Thank you See you later. Goodbye.